department is school of agriculture today we are going to talk about disease of sugarcane and their management uh, so let's come first disease that is the red rot of sugarcane The causal organism is the Colletotrichum palcatum. Red rot is one of the oldest known disease of sugarcane. It occurs in most sugarcane growing countries. Complete loss to cane uh, production in case of severe epidemic condition. It continues to be a threat in certain subtropical countries. Symptoms are symptoms on the leaves. First symptoms are seen after the rainy season when plant growth stops and sucrose formation begins. Then the loss of color and drooping of the third or fourth leaves are the earliest symptom. Red patches with ash color center develop on the midrib of leaf. Then the entire top becomes whiter. Here, loss of color and dropping of the third and fourth leaves where the symptom will be up here then here red patches with ash alert center develop on the midrib then entire top become whiter then the symptoms on the sugar canes the infected sugar cane become shriveled and such canes lighter Such cane lighter in weight and easily broken when the disease canes are expelled upper longitudinally. The characteristic red tissues are seen, which are intermingled with white tissues in the pit and vascular region. filled with grayish or white mycelium are found in the pet and and such sugar cane lighter in weight and easily broken when the diseased uh, sugar cane are spitted Split it open longitudinally. Characteristic red tissues are seen, which are intermingled with white tissues in the pit and vascular region. The cavities filled with grayish or white mycelium are found in the pit and minute velvety dark dots like acerbuli of the fungus. are formed near the nodes of the diseased canes and also in shrunken areas. Here the symptoms are like which are intermingled with white tissue in the pit and vascular region. So here the cavity is filled with grayish or white mycelium in the pit and minute velvety dark dots near the nodes. Favorable conditions, rain and 
irrigation water carrying out fungus or infectious material from one plant to another or one field to the other then the presence of wind and insects stock borer moth borer and sugar cane will then the injury to sugar cane seeds here uh, the disease cycle like firstly uh, there is a view of split stalk then the fungus will be over winters in dabris rarely in seed then parithecia on surface of the stalk then the parithecia release ascospores then ascus and ascospore is spores is spread by wind and rain and then infection occurs parithecia release the ascospore so this kind these spores which will be cause the disease control measures disease free cane should be used as seeds diseased plants should be dug out and burnt low laying areas avoided for cultivation a 2 to 3 years rotation should be followed rotting should be avoided Resistant varieties. Example: Ishravadi, two by fifty-four. Then Ishravadi sixteen and Ishravadi seventeen, etc. then the seeds treatment with bevestin or noving uh, 50 vegetable powder or ancozin 50 or agben 50 vegetable powder or forastin 50 vegetable powder or genuine then synergem etc it should be 1 gram per liter of water application of the above mentioned fungicide to ml uh, per liter of water at 22 12 to 15 days interval for 2 to 3 times in the field next is smut of sugar cane the causal organism is astilago sachitaminia it causes 10 to 25% ear loss in severe infections the tune crops may suffer more the symptoms are the most recognizable 
diagnostic feature is the emergence of a smut wipe a spindle leaves are erect before the wipe emerges affected plant may produce tiger profusely with the shoots being more spindly and erect with small narrow leaves the cane appears grass like like these are the symptom here the size of the leaves which is small in size and uh, they are also appearing like the grass So here, the spindle leaves uh, are erect before the wipe emerges, and then affected plant produce chiller profusely and grass-like sugar cane appearance. So here you can see the symptoms. Their favorable condition: infected uh, sets. Primary spread of the disease. Infected sets, uh, those will be work as a primary spread of the disease and when secondary spread by teleospore. Then, control measures, smutted wipes, from the field should be removed very carefully and one avoid of practice of retuning use the resistant cultivars the smudged canes should not be used as sets for planting then the sets treated with 0.25 percent agalol or aracin or in Bordex mixture, the ratio is the 4 ratio 4, 450 for 5 minutes. Sets also be treated with 0.1% HGCL2 or 1% formalin solution for 5 minutes and followed by covering under moist cloth for 2 hours. Then the shocking of cane sets in solution of triadimethone fungicide 2 ml per liter of water. Then the wilt of sugar cane, the causal organism is the Fusarium sachari. It causes 10 to 15 percent yield loss in epidemic areas the symptoms are the earliest symptom of the disease is the stunning and unthrifty appearance of a few isolated plants or small groups So the isolated plants or small groups of plants 
at half grown stage of the plants the most striking symptom is the yellowing and or whitening of the top when the crop is getting ready for harvesting the canes become light and yellow so the canes will be become light and hollow the splitted cane shows bricks red color with individual vascular strain then the splitted cane shows the bricks red color with individual vascular strands there are no whiter then the splitted cane shows the brick red color with individual vascular strand there are no white transverse bends as seen in the red rod disease then the stunning and unthreatening appearance of affected canes in another one a splitted cane shows brick red color with individual vascular bundles then yellowing and or whitening of the top favorable conditions like infected seeds injuries to seeds biotic stresses like nematode root borer Abiotic stress like drought and water logging condition, moisture strip cover with high temperature and low humidity reduce plant resistance to wind. moisture is trapped coupled with high temperature and low humidity reduces the plant resistance to wilt then control measure like crop debris the bush should be destroyed healthy seeds should be used for plantation then proper maintenance of uh, soil moisture and fertility can reduce the disease incidence seeds should be 
said should be taken from borer infestation pre gains the tuning should be avoided at 2 to 3 years crop rotation should follow application of boron and magnesium boron and magnesium can reduce the wilt incidence sets treatment with bevestin or noel 50 uh, vegetable powder or aim cousin 50 vegetable powder or forest in 500 Sir should be taken from borer infestation free cans then the tuning should be avoided at 2 to 3 year crop rotation should follow application of boron and magnesium can reduce the wilt incidence then the seed sets children then the sets treatment with bevestin or knowing and cousin forestin and carbondazin candazin that is 1 gram per liter of water application of the above mentioned fungicide 500 gram per hectare in the field pineapple disease of sugar cane the cause of organisms typical disease typical disease symptom are detected in seeds after 2 to 3 weeks of planting destroy the central spot portion parent climatus tissues of the internodes by rotting and then damages the buds before germination the rotund portion become red and amids a characteristic small smell of pineapple production of ethyl acetate so if germinates the shoots may die after reaching a, a height of the feet so here the soil the central soft portion by rotting and become red favorable condition infected seeds injuries to seeds then uh, infected seeds injuries to seeds stroke damage by borers red damage or any such injuries drought accelerates the damage control measures planting healthy seeds the cut ends of the cut ends of the seeds should be painted with fungicidal solution or by culture seeds should be treated in hot water and 52 degree centigrade for 30 minutes 
said treatment with bevacizumab or 950 uh, vegetable powder amcozin forestin genin kindazim 1 gram per liter of water then the application of the above mentioned fungicides 5 gram per hectare in the field then the return is turning of sugar cane the causal organism that is clavibacter xylem or lepsonia xylem sub species is the xylem it causes yield reduction up to 40% symptoms the disease can usually show stern stern growth reduce chilling uh, thin canes with shorter internodes and yellowish leaves the typical symptoms of rutun stunning disease are found only after splitting the cane longitudinally like two types or discoloration are seen in the pit in mature cane orange red discoloration of vascular bundles seen at the nodes the typical symptom of rutun stunning disease are found only after splitting the cane longitudinally like two types of discoloration are seen in the pit in mature canes orange red discoloration of vascular bundles seen at the nodes in young canes pink color can be seen at the nodes then there is the stem growth reduced tilling thin canes with shorten internodes yellowish leaves so basically here you can see the growth of the nodes and internode there is no internode orange red discoloration of vascular bundles at the mode of mature cane then pink color at the nodes in young cane favorable conditions infected seeds harvesting implements if contaminated with the juice of diseased canes control measures using the disease using the disease free sets raising of disease free sets in nursery by the following measures proper drainage and optimum doses of fertilizer and irrigation should be provided timely hoeing and weeding weed plants should be uprooted and burned rogging of stools showing symptom of wear red root and smut should also be done any 
sets that fails to germinate within a responsible period should dug out and removed. Sets should be treated in hot water at 52 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes. Timely hoeing and weeding, weed plants should be uprooted and burned. Rogging of stools showing symptom of weed. Rogging of stools showing symptom of weed. Red road and smudge should be also done. And he says that fails to germinate within a reasonable period should dug out and removed. Then said should be treated in hot water at 52 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes. Use disease resistant varieties for cultivation. Then red stripe top root of sugar cane. The causal organism is Genthomonas ruplini nans. The symptoms are initially water shock, yellowish stripes occur on leaves later become a, become a dark red in severe infection lateral birds show reddening terminal birds and spindle leaves may die and causing toe growth the vascular bundles execute foul smelling yellowish gum on cut Then initially water shock, yellowish stripes. Then uh, another are the dark red stripes. Favorable conditions, infected sets, wet season, water stress due to drought and water logging, low temperatures, control measures like systemic cutting down and burning of the affected shoots reduce the spread of the disease disease resistant varieties should be used the disease resistant varieties should be used and Systematic cutting down and burning of the affected shoes reduce the spread of the disease. Next disease is the mosaic of sugar cane. The causal organism is sugar cane mosaic virus. Vector is the different species of efforts in mosaic susceptible varieties in the e loss could be up to 10 percent symptoms are the most important symptom is the appearance of pale green patches or blotches in the green surface of the leaf these patches are not uniform in size and shape usually the patches are over to elongated and parallel to the midrib, the youngest unfolded leaves show the mottling very clear, while the symptoms are not very clear in the older leaves. Here, 
the appearance of pale green patches or blotches in the green surface of the leaf. Control measures. Healthy herbs should be used for planting. Disease-free nursery can be raised by treating the herbs with hot water. Then the systematic logging should be followed if the incidence is not very high. Then the alternate host should be destroyed. The disease resistant or tolerant varieties disease resistant or tolerant varieties should be used. Then the white leaf of sugarcane. Causal organism is the mycoplasma like organism that is amylo white leaf of sugarcane like basal organism is the mycoplasma like organism amelo and the vector is the leaf hoppers and white leaf of sugarcane which goes by mycoplasma like The causal organism is mycoplasma like organism. Then the vector is the leaf focus and and flyweeds. The symptoms are like initially a single white or green line parallel to the matrix occurs which can be seen from either side of the blade. The symptoms are initially single white or cream line parallel to the midrib occur, which can be seen from either side or side blade. Later, several straight white to light weight. White to light green to yellow stripes develops parallel to the midrib extending along the entire leaf length a motor pattern of normal or light green dog Sport strip or patches may develop on a white background, varying in size and shape. The typical symptom of sugarcane white, like the typical symptom of sugarcane with white leaf disease, are no total chlorosis of the leaf and proliferation of tillers. So these are the symptom of white leaf symptom, the color of the leaves, which is white in the color, which turns from yellow to, sorry, uh, green to white. White leaf symptoms in the field and chlorosis of the leaf and proliferation of
proliferation on Tinder. Control measure. Healthy sites should be used for cultivation. The healthy site should be used as it's for The melathion should be spread 0.16% during early stage of growth. Melathion should be spread during the early stage and then the set should be treated with hot water at 54 degrees centigrade for one and a half hours. Then the greasy shoot disease, mycoplasma like organisms, which uh, also call them MLO, mycoplasma like organisms. Then the vectors are efforts. In severe cases, loss then the effects is there well given the here. Then uh, in severe cases, yield loss could be up to forty percent. And it said CVT will be more in platoon crops. Symptoms are profuse chilling and bunchy or grasses appearance on the shoots are the main symptom. The shoots growing from diseased shoot remains dwarf or uh, stunned. The leaves appear yellowish and in some cases many entirely devoid in any pigment and then leaves exhibit straight short swimming dwarf and stun. The leaves appear yellowish and in some cases may entirely devoid of any pigment. The leaves appear yellowish and in some cases may entirely devoid of any pigment and leaves exhibit straight, narrow, long, white or light green or yellowish streaks.